Hello students, I am Dr. Tanmay Bishash. I welcome you all in my channel Chemistry the Mystery of Molecules. So today we are going to discuss a multiple choice question which you can see in your screen. So reaction of pyrrole with benzene diazonium chloride in aqueous ethanol solution in presence of sodium hydroxide produces a major product. The question is what is the structure of the major product. Okay. So in order to find out the answer four options are provided in front of you now you have to find out what is the right answer okay from these four option one is right answer so you have to find them so as usual i first request you please pause the video and try by yourself because it will help you for self evaluation and i suggest you whatever answer you think should be please write in the comment box don't hesitate whether your answer will be right or wrong because we should have the courage to accept our weakness or and accept our strength or positive point because if we understand this then there after that we will be capable to improvise our efficiency okay so i believe you have paused the video and tried by yourself so i shall explain after some time now today's lecture will cover few points like first of all the basic nature of the reagents second we will discuss the mechanism after that we will discuss something related to reaction of benzene diazonium chloride and pyrrole under relatively different condition and finally the conclusion okay so a lot of interesting chemistry to be learned in this video so let's start as usual let's first discuss the nature of the reagent because it is essential to know the nature of the reagent because if you know then you can predict and prediction capability is highly essential for a student for both exam as well as utilization of chemistry for further steps like research etc so let's learn the nature of the reagent see for example sodium hydroxide what the nature of this reagent it's actually a strong base not only that strong base along with that it is a poor nucleophile okay we know it's an harder in nature so it's a poor nucleophile so those two property if we look at benzene diazonium chloride what is the nature of this reagent one type of reaction is that it can undergo nitrogen elimination because n2 is a very stable uh, molecule and it is a gas so it will prefer to uh, so it will prefer to eliminate from the reaction medium easily second another type of reaction possible that is nucleophilic attack on the nitrogen better to say this terminal nitrogen means the nucleophile can attack here okay and after that what it result an addition reaction okay you have already read like diazotization reaction followed by di preparation okay so this is a, that is a, that was another example now let's come to our main focus that is pyrrole just look at this molecule what type of functional groups are present first of all this nitrogen is a functional group second this nh so this nh part can act as an acid okay first in but in presence of strong base keep it in mind and who can serve the duty of a strong base this any which okay already present in the reaction medium fine so another see this pyrrole is a pi excess nucleus what do we mean by the statement that actually it has a 6 pi electrons over 5 atom okay including 4 carbon and 1 nitrogen see so per atom based if we compare per atom carries more than one electron for during this aromatic aromaticity of this molecule okay so that's why this is called a pi excess nucleus so consequently what happens its reactivity towards AES means aromatic electrophilic substitution increases and this increases non normally it was a 6 electron over the 5 carbon atom additionally when this pyrrole will be deprotonated means when this when this pyrrole will be deprotonated so it will have a negative charge and corresponding cation should be sodium here because of sodium hydroxide use so this is further more electron rich why see aromatic electron number same okay but this molecule got a positive negative charge on itself so electron 
electron uh, density means the ex more amount of electron on this molecule increases and that is reflected by the reactivity enhancement further means further enhancement of reactivity after deprotonation okay and another thing we consider this 6 pi electron and this is useful for AES means aromatic nuclear substitution where this molecule reacts with a nucleophile or you may consider a sorry electrophile or electron deficient species so if a molecule has excess electron that is expected to react with this electrophile faster rather than a neutral molecule like this versus this so uh, it is obvious it is obvious that this part will react faster right okay and additional additionally after reaction c the excess negative charge will be quenched after reaction with electrophile the excess negative charge will be quenched and remember no molecule better to say no organic molecule prefers to carry an additional charge on itself we can compare the stability this is relatively more stable that is relatively less stable but actually this anion derivatives are relatively unstable derivative so while we are generating such kind of reaction we need to take lots of precaution why because if we don't take precaution then there is a chance that they will be quenched or something else will be formed so that is essential so this is an another interesting point please don't get confused about the lone pair these lone pair this lone pair is actually in sp2 hybridized orbital whereas the lone pair involved in aromaticity like this one is in the P orbital that's why it can participate in the resonance that is aromaticity so please don't get confused this sp2 lone pair is like pyridine so this is like pyridine pyridine sp2 lone pair okay okay so now let's discuss about the mechanism so we have discussed that in presence of base sorry it should be sodium hydroxide not kvh so in presence of base what happens this o minus abstracts the proton and generate this anion of pyrrol and corresponding counter cation is sodium plus so as i told in the previous slide that after deprotonation it became more and more electron rich now question is two type of option this nitrogen center act can act as a nucleophile or carbon part act as a nucleophile actually carbon act as a nucleophile because carbon is softer in nature and we know nucleophilicity is associated with softness so carbon will attack now after question okay we got it but which has uh, carbon will get for example this molecule has two types of carbon this type of this type of so two type generally we call this is one this is two this is three four five and obviously two and five are equi equivalent three and four are equivalent so question is two or three which will attack actually two c2 will attack and uh, produce this intermediate question why <clears throat> why not the c3 because let's consider that attack occurs on the c3 then what is the canonical form means this is the product and positive charge will come here this this is then the hydrogen now if we look at the stability of this molecule you can observe that this is stabilized by one canonical form that is involvement of the lone pair of nitrogen okay so in this way this is stable but but in this case means in the only another canonical form that should look like okay so that is look like this whereas in this case it has some more number of canonical forms how that can happen for example this is the negative charge this is hydrogen this is n2ph this bond can come here so positive charge will come here this again another canonical form possible how then this lone pair of nitrogen can participate in resonance and what it will result it will result this okay so here you can see number of canonical forms are more so canonical forms are more means this is relatively more stabilized always uh, remember the word relatively relatively more stabilized so if it is relatively more stabilized 
So reaction will follow this pathway. So C2 attack will form. And the second step C. In this case aromaticity. In this case aromaticity is lost. So the molecule will obviously try to gain the aromaticity which is a huge stabilization energy. So what it will do? This proton will be abstracted and it will go. So ultimately in this way we will gain back this anion again. Fine. Question is who can abstract this proton? See medium there is sodium hydroxide that can abstract the proton. So you may think like that. Now question is this fine reaction does reaction stops here? No it doesn't stop here. What happens? Again see this side C2 is consumed but the another side C2 is available. Consequently this side this can attack here and it can go okay so in this way again this substitution can occur but after that reaction will stop why because two c2 positions are blocked and attachment of this n double bond n this is actually deactivity okay because we know it's an withdrawing in nature nitrogen is electronegative in nature you may consider this n n double bond similar like CO, they are also electronegative. So why I am telling this? Because you will have an idea that wow, when I am telling this part is an electron deficient, how it is actually electron deficient. Fine. So after workup means quenching of this nitrogen anion will result this product and this is actually our product. Okay. Now question is why the pyrrole result in disubstitution? Pyrrole anion result in disubstitution. This is the most important point. See, pyrrole anion increases the electron density over the ring point number one and point number two. It's a negative charge anion. So negative charge species can easily attack the positive. And after the first substitution, also it remains in the anionic form, which increases the electron density. Means the electron density is still such amount of excess that further substitution on the another uh, uh, of the another diazonium possible that's why it undergo disubstitution okay okay so what is the answer of our question the answer of our question disubstitution but c2 position okay now so this is the answer we got now a question we have provided this reaction condition but we haven't mentioned temperature okay so is it really needed to mention obviously yes why because we know that benzene diazonium chloride are not stable not stable above 5 degree centigrade so we can expect that this reaction are should go around this temperature by the way additional information what happens after after 5 degree centigrade this nitrogen molecule get eliminated and it resulted in phenolic derivative or other things so we must be careful about temperature it must be maybe it is condition maybe little higher but that doesn't mean that it will go beyond room temperature no that not that possible okay so this is the answer of the question now we have observed during the discussion that the acidity of NH proton and presence of a strong base sodium hydroxide is responsible for this dye substitution okay now question <coughs> If we use a relatively weak base, if we instead of sodium hydroxide, if we use relatively weak base, what will be the product? Let's discuss this. So, if we use a relatively weak base like sodium acetate, okay, we know because this is weaker, so made of sodium hydroxide and acetic acid. So, in aqueous ethanol, so it's relatively weaker. So, what will happen? Will it be able to abstract the proton efficiently? The answer is no. No, it is not. It is not so efficient for hydrogen abstraction like any which means with a strong alkali. So, first step reaction will occur, first stage, and result in mono substitution question it will not undergo dye substitution why because see as i told just some time before that this group is withdrawing withdrawing and deactivating 
so this group is withdrawing and deactivating so consequently the second substitution cannot occur okay so its rejection stops as no substitution and the base because of the lesser strength of the base the abstraction of NH proton are not possible so ring is less active for AES and that's why reaction stops at mono substitution so what message I want to give you from these two examples that reactivity reactivity of pyrrole could be could be monitored or controlled controlled by the strength of base obviously when the NH is present okay don't be confused that when this NH is substituted by NR and you do the same then the question will be almost same not the effect will not be that much pronounced okay so this is the overall of today's discussion I believe you have learned interesting things so in conclusion what you have learned is that pyrrole is a pi excess nucleus uh, pi excess heterocyclic nucleus better to say five member so it's a five member okay and reactivity of pyrrole could be enhanced further by abstraction of NH proton electron density increases and this phenomena can result in di substitution where the substituents is electron withdrawing in nature and deactivating because this NN electronegative atom and second reactivity of aromatic sub electrolytic substitution of pyrrole could be controlled by the strength of the base just we have discussed so this is the end of this discussion i believe you have this video is useful for you if this video is really useful and you have enjoyed it please press the like button and write your opinion in the comment box such that i can uh, get inspiration from your comments whether it's good or bad doesn't matter but please mention and if you think this video is good enough then share with your friends such that they can also enjoy the benefit and most importantly if you think my channel is providing worthy content then please subscribe this channel and press the bell icon such that you can get notification wherever i upload a new video okay so stay happy stay blessed 